twist them open like this. Oh, yep, it's a twist. Good morning, everyone. It is such a sunny day today. I got my piercing jewelry finally. It's been like a month, so I'm going to film a piercing video. I purposely didn't drink coffee so that I'm not shaking. But this is the jewelry. It came from Spain. I ordered a couple of sizes. I tried my best to like do the measurements properly, but some of them look very tiny. Like what would that fit into? I have no idea. This could go horribly wrong where none of the piercings fit where I bought the jewelry for, but we're gonna do this. I'm gonna switch over and film a video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a piercing video, which I'm so excited for. I ordered some jewelry off of Etsy and they finally came in the mail. They're basically gold hoops in all of these different sizes. So I'm gonna do a little swap for my jewelry today. You guys know I don't really change my ear game up a lot, so I'm super excited about this. Um, I've also never swapped my jewelry on camera, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be good, but I hope this helps. I'll also give you guys an update on all of my piercings because I know a lot of you have been asking me about my anti-tragus, so we'll get into that. And and then I'll maybe also do a Q&A if we have time or maybe do that in a separate video. We're gonna see how long this video plays out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't followed me out on Instagram, it's at inspiro, please do. And I'm gonna change into comfortable clothes so that we can get this started. <laughs> Cause I think this is gonna get a little intense up in here. So let's go do that. So this is currently what my right ear looks like. I haven't been wearing earrings in my lobe like piercings. And here is what my left ear looks like. You can see that the anti-tragus is acting up right now. It does this when I think I slept on it weird like the other night. So it has this bump um, and this ear needs a little bit of love. So. That's what we're dealing with right now. As you can see, I showed you close-ups of my two ears right now, and I'm gonna try to do stuff in this mirror. So I was trying to set this up, but I washed my hands, I brought a towel, I also have Q-tips, um, some saline spray, and some alcohol because I wanna disinfect everything as well. So let's try to do this. Wow, this is like so close to me. It's my face. Here's the current situation. These are the um, little earrings I got. They're from a little store called Ravel Me on Etsy. I got two five millimeters, which are the tiniest. I got a 10 millimeter, uh, seven millimeter, and two eight millimeter ones. So gold hoops in all different sizes. I'm hoping that the 10 millimeter one fits my conch, but I have no idea. <laughs> it looks very small. So I'm a little worried. First thing I'm gonna do is take my alcohol out and we are going to disinfect. So I'm going to pour some in this corner of my towel. The first thing I wanna take out is this 10 millimeter one. It was the biggest size that they offered on Etsy. These are also like very hammered, as you can see. That's what you get for ordering cheaper rings off of Etsy. Cause I didn't wanna pay like really crazy prices. Honestly, is this gonna fit? I don't think so. It might be like an ear cuff, but I don't think it's gonna go into my piercing. So this is off to a great start, but we're going to just disinfect them by using alcohol. So these are the kinds where you like twist them open like this so that they don't snap. Can you see that? I don't even know if I like that this is hammered. It didn't look hammered in the photos. My goal was to like take my conch out and replace my conch with it, but I'm first gonna try to see if I could even get it around my ear. I feel like I should have ordered like a 14 millimeter or something. But let's see. Ow! <laughs> and that hurts. I mean, it fits around my ear, look at that. That's like what it's supposed to look like. My ear's so red now. So maybe, if I can now take my jewelry out, I can try to 
put this in. Is that the plan? You bet it is. All right. I've never taken my tripod out. Ow. Oh, yep, it's a twist. <laughs> Can you see anything that I'm doing? I'm currently twisting. Ooh, it came out. Oh my God. Oh my God. The hole is so big. That is disgusting. I've never seen that before. This is like my first piercing ever. Do you kind of see the hole? So this is what was in my ear before. I want to move this to a different area. That's the little tri-prong diamond. So put that here for now. Can you see this hole? That is disgusting. So I'm going to spray it with some saline spray. I'm going to actually spray a Q-tip. Oh my god, I can see it! Oh, that's so gross! <laughs> I can see through my ear. I guess that's what a conch piercing is. I'm disgusted by myself. I'm just gonna spray it behind. Spray in front. This I got this from my piercer here, but you can order it off Amazon. It's just like a normal like spray bottle situation. Um, but yeah, okay, so the area is now sprayed with saline. I'm going to try to get this piercing into it. It's, it's a healed hole. It's been like four years since I've gotten this, so it doesn't hurt or anything. The idea just really, really grosses me out, but I feel like you could probably see. It's also very dark. But you can see now I'm just, I'm just turning it around so it's now in the hole that is crazy <gasps> oh my god it's in wow that is insane all right now i'm gonna try to close it because but this wasn't as hard as i thought because the hole has been there for a long time and the gauge is really thick of this this is my initial jewelry so a very big hole as you can see okay i'm just gonna set it I couldn't close it all the way, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this for now, but you can see that it's in. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, oh my God, I finally have a ring in it. I've been wanting a ring there for, since I pierced it. I wanted a gold dainty ring, and four years later, <laughs> who would have thought? That's crazy. So you guys know I love reusing my jewelry, um, and I don't plan on not using any of them because these were expensive, like these BBLA ones. So uh, I think I want to use this in here because it's really hard to notice this helix um, piercing, or I would put it in my second lobe. So I either want it to go here or here. I just put in the eight millimeter ring into my second lobe. And as you can see, it's actually a little bit big. So I'm gonna put in the seven millimeter instead and check back with you. So, so far, here's the situation. I put in the seven millimeter into my second lobe. I couldn't close the hoop, <laughs> but I feel like I like how it looks right now, like that. So maybe I'll close the loop later. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Um, I like how it kind of just curves and like looks almost like a second piercing which I thought was nice I feel like it helps me not have so many straight lines because I'm keeping my rook in like that also because that is impossible for me to change on my own and I actually really like that it's a really minimal hoop so I think this one balances that out I think now I'm just debating what to change this one to to like offset this the stud is nice, but I'm also debating putting my blue boho hoop in there, um, just so that it like brings, it like draws something into the ear, you know? But I feel like it might be too many lines. Like, look at this, you know? Versus like having a stud there. It just doesn't look good here. 
so I don't know something like this or like this or eventually like this I want to change this one too because these are just ugly little titanium balls um, that are like made to look kind of like gold but they're like a little off gold Okay, so this took me forever and I have to go run out to do some errands. So I'm going to come back to this later. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys how my ears look so far. Um, I'm so tired. I also didn't have coffee before this so I like wouldn't shake and I need coffee. I'm like so tired. Anyway, very dainty as always. I think I eventually want to buy some that like hang, you know? But I think I want to do that when I get um, my third lobes pierced and just keep it simple for now. So here's how my right ear looks right now. As you can see, I swapped the conch into a ring, which I love. And then I just put these into my lobes. I think that way it'll draw more attention into the ear versus right now, which is very simple. Um, and then on this side, this side also looks like a mess right now, but that's what that looks like. Overall, I'm not really happy with where it is right now, but I guess this is good practice to like swap some stuff around and it's not in a bad position. I'm really glad that I got my two titanium ball studs out, the like really basic ones that you get pierced with. That was my goal anyway. So overall, it's not too bad, but it's looking a little basic, you know, like I need to figure out how to configure this so that there's like a good balance of diamonds and stuff versus right now it just feels like my ears have a lot of piercings but they don't look the way I want them to. They look very cagey, you know what I mean? This is exhausting. Hi everyone, I'm back. I went on a picnic <laughs> then I came back and I tied my hair up. I look crazy right now. Anyway, the ear game is growing on me a little bit but also still gives me kind of a caged vibe. I just didn't want to spend so much money on jewelry so I feel like this will be good for now and out of the way and stuff but I really want to change this stud I found these clamps my piercer gave me these when I got my jewelry changed last time and it's a good way to like hold on to jewelry because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the small stud is a screw on but it's so short so I'm going to apply alcohol generously <laughs> even though I've washed my hands like 10 times but every time I come home it's just that's what I do they look like this <laughs> and I don't know if they're gonna be helpful but I feel like they could be he said that they're like softer than using like pliers or anything so you don't damage the jewelry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to unscrew this tiny stud right here and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna hope for the best. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. It was a pull this whole time. Spray that with some saline. update oh my god that took so long so i think that the back of this hole i cannot find it for the life of me i feel like it in those two seconds like got super irritated and um got like a little bump that covered it so i'm gonna do a sea salt soak over that um and then i'm going to the gauge of this is too thick to stick in there so i'm gonna put the blue boho hoop in that side and on this side, I put the tri stud, and I think that's cute versus two hoops. And look at that bump on my anti trigger. So I'm gonna do a sea salt soak on both sides. Hopefully, that flushes out whatever is in here, blocking it so that I can put this back in. Because <laughs> I can find the front of the hole, but I can't find the back of the hole, and that is a problem. A cup of like warm hot water with sea salt in it, and I'm just going to dip my ear in like this. Ooh, that's hot. Honestly, it's super smooth, soothing. It's literally what I do, and then I'll be like this for as long as I can be patient for it. 
which means three minutes, five minutes. So I'll be here. This, this was so much work and I don't even know if I'm happy with how it turned out right now. But I did the sea salt soak so I could get the stud into my helix and then I put the small stud into my second lobe here. I kind of did that with my... I think it still looks very cagey, so I think I need to get earrings that dangle, you know? And on this side, I'm going to do the sea salt soak so that that bump goes down. But there's just too many hoops everywhere and I should have thought of that earlier. I'm also not tied to this idea right now. I thought it'd be fun because it like ties the stud together, but I might switch it back to how it was earlier. So it's a lot later. It's obviously dark now. Um, and I realized how all over the place this vlog probably was, especially <laughs> how my overall state has changed since the beginning of the video when I was dressed nice and my makeup was nice. And now it's like 9 p.m. and I'm on my couch. I thought I would film some sort of outro in case I decided to use this footage. I don't even do like a piercing Q&A or anything, but <laughs> stopping your piercings is so exhausting. I don't know how people do it. It took me literally half the day and I'm still not really that happy with how my piercing curated ears turned out. I think I just need less like super dainty and minimal jewelry and like a few more accent pieces because it's a lot of like super thin gold rings right now and I just keep swapping things around so I don't know I also did my sea salt soak but this side still has a very big bump I think I'm going to continue to do sea salt soaks over the next few days so that it calms down because I'm pretty sure I just directly slept on it last night and that's why it's acting up but that's my anti-trigus update if I upload the footage as it is, then I hope that this was an entertaining video slash helpful at all. I don't really know. I feel like it was a mess of a video. If not, then maybe I'll use this footage in a later video when I finally film like a legitimate piercing update. I don't know. <laughs> I do have to say though, I still think that my ears look nicer than they originally were because I still had my two titanium balls in in the beginning and my main goal was to take that out and to change my conch into a gold ring so I did accomplish all my goals it's just that the aesthetic right now isn't where I'm happy with it it's not a hundred percent yet so I think that's where I feel off about it I think this is what happens when you want to save money. You guys know that I'm super allergic to all types of like nickel and metal and all of that. So most of my jewelry is gold fill. Um, and if not, then it's titanium, which is better than surgical steel because titanium is like 100% allergy free. And that's what you should get pierced with at the studios. Do not get pierced with surgical steel if you're allergic to anything because I still got bad reactions from it and that made my piercings take longer to heal and it caused more problems for me. The first time that I went to get my piercings for my conch and my rook, they pierced me with surgical steel. So that's the story there. My entire piercing journey is on YouTube. Literally every single one of my piercings. So watch the playlist if you want to see it all. <laughs> The jewelry has been in for a few hours and I haven't gotten any bad reactions, so I do believe that it is gold fill. So I will leave the links to them below. It's not affiliate, it's not sponsored. I literally just found it on Etsy and I was like, all right, like I'll spend $100 on some hoops. I, I didn't use some of the ones that I ordered too, but they were pretty cheap compared to if you bought gold seamless rings from BVLA or if you bought legit seamless rings from like a blue boho or something. Um, so that's kind of why I went this route, but yeah, that is the situation. Am I going to use any of this footage of me laying on this couch like this? I don't know. <laughs> but leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a like if you like piercing content, and I will see you in my next video. I don't know if I'm going to use any of this footage, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I'm probably not going to use this footage. Okay, bye.